Hello, greetings, Bridger, Hola, Zdravst White, Nine How, Sal, Konichiwa, Guten Tag, Ola, and Young Heiseo, Asalam Alikum, Godag, Shikamu, Yesas, Siendo Bra, Goddag, and Shalom. How are you doing on this fine day? Obviously you can't answer that. This is pre-recorded message or is it? I don't know nor do I care. I'm just here to spoil some secrets that the Foundation has been hiding. Today we're talking about the most reasonable thing in existence and by far the best Foundation I've ever heard of, obviously succeeding more than the Foundation ever had by formalities means. We are talking about the Global Cult Coalition. The Global Occult Coalition, GOC, also known as the United Nations Global Occult Coalition, UNGOC, is a major power in the world of the SCP Foundation. It serves as the official protector of the human race, overseen by the United Nations. It was founded after the Seventh Occult War Rui. They share the Foundation's view of protecting mankind from the thousands anomalies or as they call them power threats, though instead of containing them, they usually destroy kill all anomalies they encounter, even if they are completely harmless, making them a more controversial group. They have also been known to exterminate entire communities in order to destroy often unthreatening anomalies, such as in the case of SCP-1261. The coalition consists of 108 powerful anomalous occult organizations, similar to the real United Nations. The Fivefold Mission While the SCP Foundation has threefold mission statement, the GOG has a fivefold matching the pentagram in their emblem. The mission statement is the following, and are listed in order of importance. Survival, the GOG has to protect the human race against all paranormal threats, and this mission take priority over all other four. Concealment, the GOG has to keep the knowledge of paranormal threats secret, as exposure of said threats could lead to mass panic and, eventually, Massive casualties in the wider civilian population. Protect, the GOC always tries to protect individual humans, both operatives and civilians, whenever possible, as long as it does not go against the first two previous statements. Destruction, the GOC should not take any risk with the survival of paranormal threats, as the very existence of the anomalous could be a risk to the human race's survival. Education, the GOC should always expand their knowledge of paranormal threats, and study said threats, as long as it does not go against the four previous statements. History, the GOC was once known as the Allied Occult Initiative, which fought the Ananurbabs Korika in Seventh Occult War Rui. After the war, the countries wanted more oversight over the anomalous, and as the SCP Foundation, which already existed back then, was a more private organization, and no single country was trusted alone, the GOC was formed from 108 different and powerful anomalous occult organizations. Over the years the GOC has become a major player on the world stage, having even more funding than the Foundation, and is often seen as the police of the paranormal world, in 1953 the group Sapphire, a member of the Council of 108, broke off due to ideological divergences. Ranks. The coalition is usually led by an acting director whose role resembles that of the administrator from the SCP Foundation. Notables acting directors of the coalition have been Reginald Ulysses Law and Eric Burke. The acting director's immediate superior is the Under Secretary General, a public official from the United Nations. Each of the 108 occult groups having an representative in the Council of 108, the leadership of GOC, similar to the O5 Council of the SCP Foundation. Another important is the Nexus who control the network of command central hubs to coordinate and support local operations. The Physics Division is the action arm of the GOC, 
similar to the mobile task forces of the Foundation. They observe, investigate, capture and or neutralize anomalies. The two main arms of this division are the assessment teams, investigation and observation, and strike teams, combat and assault. The Psyche Division is the diplomatic arm of the GOC, who serve as liaisons with the paranormal community, and try to keep peace with other paranormal powers. The Ptolemy Division are the support arm of the GOC. They vary from scientists and researchers from research and development who develop new technologies to quartermasters who oversee logistics from weapons to food. Notable members of the 108. The Bavarian Illuminati. The International Center for the Study of Unified Thaumatology. The Holy Order of Knights Templar, Reformed. Servants of the Silicon Nornaya. The United Church of Satan, Scientist. The World Health Organization. The Universalist Order of the Assur. Sapphire, formerly. Relationships with other organizations. The GOC has a complicated relationship with the SCP Foundation. The GOC is known to criticize the Foundation for the use of D-class personnel, a UN human rights violation in their eyes, as well as not always destroying anomalies. The Foundation, on the other hand, do not always agree with the GOC's methods as well stating that destroying something anomalous might sometimes make things worse. As there is no going back from it, CSCP-1609. Despite this, these two groups often act as allies when it comes to global threats, such as SCP-2845 or the Scarlet King. The Church of the Broken God is usually viewed by the GOC as a hostile force, similar to the SCP Foundation, seeking to destroy the religious group. The GOC is in direct conflict with the Serpent's Hand and has attacked the Hand's base of operations, the Wanderer's Libri, which has caused much damage to interdimensional location. The Hand calls Coalition as the Book Winners due to the GOC's habit of destroying anomalies. The GOC, the SCP Foundation, the Horizon Initiative and the Church of the Broken God have also formed a secret alliance called Triumvirate. Thank you so much for listening to my preaching, I must go now before the Foundation finds me, God bless you all.